Hey, Smithia, Igni here. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Shadowverse. This is a little Havencraft deck I've been working on for the rotation meta. So we're starting the year off heavenly. Uh, it's a controlling heavenly Aegis deck, but surprisingly has a lot of early game pressure as well. Just with stuff like Pegasus Dollahan and uh, Gemstone Carapace, which is turning out a lot stronger than I thought it would be. And uh, just the new Jean, which is amazing. You pair that up with also Dark Jean, and you got so many clears. Lots of banishes as well for the Shadow matchup, and uh, a Bahamut, because, well, you know. Some of the ideas in this deck did come from a build that Potwasher was brewing, specifically the Gemstone Carapace. Shout out to all the other people trying to make Havencraft work in rotation, especially with Haven losing so many of its good tools with uh, Darkness Evolved rotating out. This is my crack at it. It's been doing really well so far, and hopefully I can show it to you. Oh, okay, I gotta get my game face on. It's a purple chest on the line. I think I want to kick these guys out. Definitely keeping the Gemstone Carapace. This card is surprisingly... Insanely good. I was having a little bit of a cough there. It's okay, I muted the mic because I'm a professional. Doing professional things. Now, turn one. He does nothing. It's a good start. Turn one, I will also do nothing. So, you know, we're moving at breakneck speeds here. Oh god, he's got ramp. Oh no. Oh no. Well, the good news is I have gemstone carapace, which is, which is great. Uh, and they'll pop turn four naturally. I could also play the Gemstone Carapace again next turn, which I probably will do. I want to save the Jean for board clear for sure. I don't think it's that valuable as a 3.23. So you definitely want to save this for 7. Basically every single time. And if I play this turn 3, I get to pop it as well with the Cudgel turn 4. And I can banish this Star Phoenix no problem at the same time. So we'll do this. We'll get a really big presence turn 4. It'll be good. You can't uh, Salamander 2 3 fives away. That's the idea. Man, Gemstone Carapace ended up being really good, huh? I think in my card review I rated Time Owl above Gemstone Carapace, which is above the Snakes, but now I would rate the Carapace like far above the other two. Seriously. Crazy card. Hey, look at this! This is my board turn 4. Two three fives and a 4-5. That's nuts! Exactly how I want it to be. Uh, you can't uh, salamander this away, can ya, Mr. Dragon? So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Probably Sybil. I'd have to imagine it's Sybil. It's okay, I got the singer plus the scripture. Deal with Sybil at this point. Ooh, okay. That doesn't have Storm yet. Actually has to evolve it to kill the, uh, the cudgel here. I'm okay with it. Unless he wants to kill the, the turtle? Nah. It's on the cudgel. Understood. Yeah, see, I'll probably save the, uh, the Evolves, to be honest. Unless I want to go really aggressive with it. Maybe I should just go aggressive with it. You shall pay for the just give him no outs. He'd need, uh, Saha Isra now. To kill everything. Which I guess he could have, pretty easily, now that I think about it. So I'm pretty upset that that's a thing. But, hey, doesn't have it. Just Mr. Dragon. Not a, not a big issue. He does ramp to 9 next turn. So that's still one turn away from Baja, so we can sort of go all in on the board. This is probably a Salamander. Yep. And... Nothing. I like seeing that. Nothing is great. I'm just gonna flood the board here. Right? One turn away from Baja. Yeah. We're doing it. Let's just make, uh... Salamander really awkward. He's got no evil points for potential Israfil, and even if he did, it wouldn't even be good. Just pressure him with these turtles. These turtles have done so much work this whole game. Oh my. No Aegis required, man. Just tempoing out with the turtles. Oh no! What is this? Hey, that's not so bad. <laughs> Only three, you nerd. Got him! Turtles OP OP, man. Another Haven. Now, this is rare. I think I actually have to keep the scripture just in case he drops a Pegasus Dullahan on me. It's such a hassle to deal with Pegasus Dullahan when it just keeps reviving and reviving and reviving. So, we're gonna just keep the scripture for that, hopefully. We didn't draw the Carapace out of our Starways, which is a huge bummer. You always want to be looking for that Gemstone Carapace turn two, I think. It's just so good. Or if not that, then you want to play Snow White and then Carapace on three, something like that. Just because. Yeah, Carapace is amazing. It even synergizes with Snow White and everything. Speaking of Pegasus Dullahan, there's ours. Hey! I should not have preemptively entered my turn there. I could have drawn another globe, but... 
This is fine. We got the carapace. Oh, he's got his turn too, though. That's a big hassle for us. Now I have to deal with that somehow. Our carapace is one turn late. Ours is gonna pop on five. Well, we could always make it... Yeah, ours is gonna pop up on five either way, just because we get our evil point less early than he does. That's a hassle. Might just be worth it to honestly black and scripture this. I don't want him to get the card draw more than he... More than I, like, have to allow him to get card draw, I guess. Or I could just play a Pegasus Dull Hand here and make it really annoying for him to deal with. Because if he trades, then... Yeah, 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 let's do it this way. He needs to have Banish, otherwise, if he trades, he's gonna come back with one of these. So I'm forcing him to have a Scripture or a Cudgel here, essentially. And if he doesn't have it, then... I'm golden, boys. Of course he has it. You always keep the, uh, the Black and Scripture in the Haven Mirror for Pegasus Dull Hand now, I think. This is a problem. See, now I feel like my gamble is definitely not paid off in any way, shape, or form. Because <laughs> now I'm in a pickle. Well, the good news is... Wait, I actually can't... Tribunal plus gemstone here. Wow, that's a bummer. I definitely want to evolve this to run over this one. So I have to Tribunal here to get rid of the other one. Woo! That sucks. Lend me your power, golden staff. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I ain't gonna complain about a 5-7. The name of the game here is just, uh... Outlasting each other and playing Aegis first. I think playing Aegis first is the big name of the game here. And, uh, we're behind because we don't have Aegis in hand. So that's, that's an issue. That's an issue. We do have the second Pegasus Dull Hand though, that's good. I'm not gonna pre-evolve it. Even though it would get it out of range of Banishes, I think it's not worth it to. I'd rather evolve an Aegis on curve. If we draw one, please let me draw one. He has so many more cards than I do. Oh god, he had the second Black Inscriptor as well. Yeah, that's worth Black Inscripturing, I think, this one. It's just kind of a hassle to deal with otherwise, isn't it? Alright. Or, I could just... Heavenly Knight his face. Yeah. From the heavens above, justice is delivered. I think that's fine. Oh, we're both saving our evil points for the next game, so... You know. By year's end, one of us will have used all our evil points. I have so much board clear for the Snow White, it's not a huge deal. We're just really wary of Pegasus Dull Hand, I guess. Who knows? When it's coming out, the madman could come out any time. Or maybe he doesn't have Pegasus Dull Hand at all and he's been boozing me this entire time. That would be a bummer. Maybe he has a Heavenly Knight, but he can't, uh... Oh, here we go. Ah, this kind of feels bad, though, because you have to trade both the body and the ping into the Heavenly Knight here. This is one of the powers of Heavenly Knight, man. He's just a huge dude. Just a huge guy. Can never. He's running his small guy into my guy. This small guy is dead. So that. Good. Oh, he has a tribunal popping off on his side as well, though. That's kind of a bummer. I don't want to handle this. I kind of want to play one small Jean. So let's play one small Jean. That way. Victory. I know it's kind of dumb to not evolve this Tin Soldier for the effect, but I kind of just want to spread my thread a little bit. Alright, killed the turtle. It's not so bad. Kind of a shame, but hey. Didn't have strong feelings either way. He might just keep his evolve point for this Aegis, and if he does that, then I'm screwed. But considering I don't have Aegis in hand anyway, I thought I just had to go. Go, go, go. I think I have answers to everything he's got. The only problem is, can I even, uh, kill him before he plays his Aegis? That's the question. Now, this is the deciding point. He does evolve here. I was just gonna say, if he evolved here, it might be an indicator that he doesn't have Aegis. Well, now I just think I want to play the Dark Sean. And the Pure Hearted Singer, I need to draw. I really need to draw. What I get? Princess Snow White, that's low impact. That's very low impact. If he has Aegis here, I just lose. Essentially. I could try- yep, okay. Damn. Well, I could heal myself up and then just go face and then flood the ward a little bit with Snow White. It's not over yet. It ain't over yet. This is happening every time. Going face. 
Let's go in face. I want to play the thing that doesn't die, or comes back after he clears. No. He's got his own curate, that's a hassle. He's trading this 8-8, for sure. There's no way he's not trading this 8-8. Maybe he's thinking of just smorking. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Really? I guess it kind of makes sense. That puts me on the back foot. I have to deal with his shit. Right, that is smart, maybe. Oof. Let's see, I have 10. What do I draw? Oh, that's good. My tempest shall judge you. That's very important. The Lord wills it. Why, oh Lord? We just have to race. Come on! Don't somehow have clear and two damage to the face, please. Hit me! If you can do it, just hit me, fam. Ah! Oh. Yes! The best hit! <laughs> Got him! He's only got six play points to play with now. I don't have to worry about Taurus. Oh, that's a weight off my shoulders. Because Taurus is scary. I can't believe we won that. We just put the pressure on, man. That's it. That's it, fam. Damn! And we're up against Rune. Rune has burn. Rune has a lot of burn. So maybe I want to keep the Frog Cleric. I'm going to toss a Curate. It looks a bit heavy. But I'm going to keep the Frog Cleric just in case. Never mind, I'm going to keep Curate. Okay, well, at least I have the heals for against... Uh, Dirt burned. And we have a turn one play on one. Okay, that's good. Good start. And we have Gemstone Carapace. Okay! It's happening. It's happening. Now, I think it's better to play Snow White on two. Because we have the body, and then we can... If we get Snow White to pop, the Gemstone Carapace is going to pop on four anyway. So we'll play Snow White first. And then Carapace. Oh, it's happening. This is happening. And we got all the, uh, the, the restoration in the world, apparently, just to combat this Dirt Rune matchup. This is what Frog Cleric and Curator are in here for. This is exactly what they're here for. They know. They know. There's Aegis. That's... I don't know how much of a factor that's going to play in this matchup. This is just going in here. Do I trade again? I don't need to. Let's give him the option. If he goes face, then I'm okay with it, because I have the heal. He might be thinking that the, the face is more important. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, man. You are never touching me. This is it. Healeroni, pepperoni. We got the cudgel here to help clean up the board as well. That 3-5, oh baby, on turn 4. What are you up to? On 4. Come ah, hell, say hello to cudgel. That's, that's all I gotta say. Figure out my tricks yet. You got any earth rights there, buddy? You got any earth rights there? He doesn't even have any earth rights. For this guy. Well then. This is happening every time. We're just gonna manage this. I probably should have traded with this guy ages ago, huh? Oh, that was a mistake. I got a little cocky. I was a little overconfident in my healing abilities. But we still seem okay. Next time we have Frog Cleric plus Black Inscriptor into Curate. Good news is we still have plenty of healing. The heart must be kept pure. Can deal with this guy too. Well, my guys are gone, but I can deal with him at least. And I have board clear for grand summoning on six, and I have heal if he doesn't grand summoning. So either way, I have plays on seven, which I'm very happy about. Jean is. The best play against Grand Summoning. It just feels so good. Play Grand Summoning. Do it. I dare you. Okay, he doesn't have it. This is where we curate now. No Grand Summoning equals curate. Grand Summoning equals Sean. These are the, the simple lines of play here. Definitely kill this guy. 
I know we have Egus in hand, but we definitely kill this guy. Just take the board all the time, and then we start clearing the board all the time. We got Dark Jean and regular flavor Jean. This is good. I think this is going really well. I'm glad I kept all... Well, I didn't keep them, but I'm glad like, we had all the frog clerics and the curates in hand. Now that this happened. Oh, there goes my uh, curate. Does he have grand summoning, though? TV grand summoning is going to be really awkward to play this, uh, this Jean. <laughs> I wonder if I even play Jean here. Because if I Jean now, I'm going to get hard countered by grand summoning. Whereas I could just play two tribunals and then Aegis next turn. But I don't really want to do that either, because if he plays, like, Levi next turn, how do I deal with it other than a tribunal, right? So I think I will just play, like, Jean. If he plays grand summoning, then I can just double tribunal and try and cop it. Or I could run my regular Jean in and then Dark Jean. Doesn't even have it, so it's fine. I'm so glad that was a circle and not a missile. Because missile would have punished my, my Jean so hard. Now, it's basically an open field for Aegis to come down. Oh yeah, boy. This game just went perfectly. <laughs> oh, it feels so good, though. Now what? Yeah, it's not doing it. That's not doing it. Just make a big guy. Oof. That's a nasty board he has to deal with now. No idea how he's gonna deal with this one. Still got two tribunals to the two if he just starts warding up. I'm through. It's through, it's over. Man, what? This deck though, man, this is powerful. This is the power of this deck. So you saw how it could just out-tempo people with the carapace, and you saw how it could outlast people with all these clears just to land an Aegis and win at the end. This deck is so strong in so many ways, and I just think it's great. So definitely would recommend. That's it for this video. Like it if you did. Don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content, Chrono Genesis content in the very near future. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, patreon.com slash ignidius. If you'd like to support the channel as well, I would highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.